All right, let's jump right into another real-time edit. Here I have a pair of tree swallows, the female perched on top of this dead old snag and the male. It was funny, uh, he, he had just finished mating, but then he kept flying back and forth and then would mate again. And so he just kept doing this pattern of flying back and forth like that. So I was able to just focus on her and then uh, just do some bursts of images as he went by. Um, so I really liked the way the light was going through the wings there and uh, the overall scene. Uh, but I didn't really have time to compose it. Plus, there was some large stuff over here that wasn't real great. So uh, I'm going to just compose it now in post. So just do a little straightening here, crop a little bit off of that side, and something like that should work pretty well. I'm going to pull the highlights down so I can get more detail on the wings, kick the shadows up so I can get more detail on the birds, black it up for more contrast, and a little lens flare down across the bottom here. So I'm going to try and chuck a little dehaze on that um, you know it it actually kind of arches through here so I can't really fit this great into it just right but yeah, it's close enough and I can always fix it better in Photoshop I don't like that little bit of tree that I was seeing over there so get rid of that and maybe just a little bit warmer white balance and I think that should about do it um, so let's pop into Photoshop and then I'm going to actually come back and process, I think, a darker version for the background in Lightroom. And then open that up again in Photoshop just so I can stack those layers. So, yeah, I think I like it a little bit more dramatic. I actually kind of like that overall. Um, so I'll leave that there. Back to Photoshop. I think I'll actually make this my base layer, so I don't have to worry about all the crap I'm doing right now. There we go. So now I have um, now I have the lighter version stacked on top of the darker version. So I'm gonna mask out the lighter version, and then just come in and very specifically paint that lighter version in. Now it's gonna be too light right now, but there's a reason I'm painting it at a hundred percent opacity instead of just painting it out exact with the exact amount I want and that reason is so I can be real precise so uh, if I were to use a soft brush with like lighter opacity and yeah, we'll just do the whole tail um, I wouldn't be able to be as precise as I am right now so instead I'm using a harder edge brush that also has no opacity with it so I'm using my tablet right now and it's just in fact I'll, I think I will do all the wings here um, so it's just you know no matter how hard I push on my graphics tablet pen here it's giving me a hundred percent opacity and there you go I get everything just filled in entirely white and now of course obviously I need to fix the wing tip so now I will use a smaller brush with opacity oops wrong color there we go, paint with white. And we'll just kind of get those soft wing tips added in there. And then we'll do the same on the bottom wings. Oh, and then of course, I almost forgot I have to do the female bird as well to match that up. So I'm just going to go right across the wing tips here like that. I won't hit the exact edges. There we go. We'll fill that in. And then let me do a quick selection here with color range. See if I can get those wing tips selected just by themselves. Yep. Too much color there. There we go. That's kind of doing the trick. And then we'll paint that in with white and we get that nice selection going. Look at that. Right. In fact, I can even try it up there as well, and a little bit on the wingtips there. Nice. So now, thanks to that selection, I have that bird really well. This one's going to be a lot easier. Just mask this bird out. I'm not going to worry about the legs. This one's just a pretty straightforward shape, so it doesn't take long to just manually cut that out. 
And then once I have this, the other nice thing about doing a real precise selection like this is once you have this selection, you can reload it again and use it for other things that you may want to change. You know, if there's like color I want to mess with with the background or something like that. So there we go. I'm just going to inspect it like this, make sure everything looks really clean and exactly the way I want it. And it's good. So I will save this as a selection. There we go. And now... I was going to say, so I thought some of these areas were going to be blown out, but they're not. So it's actually pretty damn good. Um, I think the birds themselves can use just a little contrast. So something like that looks good, but I just want to paint it in right where I want it. Not, I don't want, I don't want to blow out those wing tips like that. If I hit it really hard, that's going to happen. Um, I do also wonder if the, uh, the log here or the snag can take a little bit of just some lightning detail so it looks a little bit more natural blend with the female that's perched there. Um, also, I'm noticing there's some cool blue tones showing up in the female there, so we want to get rid of that. Not that much red. I need more yellow. That was too much, so I'll just paint it in where I want it. There we go, we'll golden up those wingtips a little bit. I don't want it to hit the head where it's supposed to be blue. She's a little bit more brown than he is. Um, this could probably use some of that as well. So let me do another layer because it's not clipped. And we'll just kind of throw some of that golden wash across there. Just a little bit of these bright spots in the back. I'm just going to kind of burn them down so they're a little bit more in line with everything else around them. So they stand out less because I just don't want the viewer's eye to jump over to those. I want you to just go right to the bird, which is going to be the lightest thing in the image. So making these brighter spots just a little bit darker helps to prevent that. And that's looking pretty good. Um, yeah, gosh, I don't know that I have much else to do. You can't really see their eyes, and it would, with the lighting this strong from behind, I don't know that it would make sense to see their eyes at all. I could try just a little bit of dodging across the white of this guy and the, the, the breast under there, underneath the tail, just to really make him stand out. Same thing with her. Right, just to kind of get them, there we go, standing out a little bit more like that. Uh, but overall, I really like the uh, scenic nature of this shot um, and the fact that the birds really stand out against that background, even though they're very tiny in the scene. And it just kind of, you know, it emphasizes how small they are too. And, you know, where a close up, you know, obviously would show more detail, but uh, maybe not quite tell the same story. Um, so let me get that saved. I'll go back into. Lightroom here, reset this so you can see the total before and after. And again, as usual, not a huge, massive change here. Just waiting for the computer to catch up, but definitely improvement, right? We really got rid of that flare that was happening down there, warmed the overall uh, image up, and really just made the birds stand out even more and just made it look like a bit more of a, a final polished and finished piece. So uh, thanks for watching as always. And there we go. Another real time edit clocked in under 10 minutes. So you don't have to spend a lot of time on these edits. That's the other nice thing, you know, um, less than 10 minutes. We go from total beginning to the end and have a really nice final image. So hope you enjoyed. Thanks again.